Okay, so here we go. Sitting in the middle of your mat. Palms of the hands facing up. Allow your shoulders to melt away from your ears and feel the whole body lifting up from your sitting bones right up to the crown of your head. Arriving on your mat, our yoga mat, our sacred space for the next hour where we come together through the power of yoga, the union of mind, body, spirit, and breath. So settling in, leaving this week's activities and events behind you, just so in the next hour you can be totally present. Breathing in, wide and full, and exhale completely. Breathing in, wide and full, and exhale completely. One more time, breathing in, and exhale completely. Plugging into Gaia, feeling the earth beneath your blessed body, feeling protective and grounded, connected to all there is with no separation. Bring your hands to your heart center into Anjali Mudra. Keep lengthening the neck and as you sit here, Pulling up the pelvic floor just very slightly, Mulla Bandha. Draw your belly button inwards very slightly, Uddiyana Bandha. Just to give yourself some inner support and inner strength. Now very slowly, we're gonna take the arms up on an inhalation, slowly. And then exhale, slowly take the arms down. Creating a bubble of nourishment. Try and lengthen the inhalation. You might want to pause momentarily at the top of the inhalation and exhale as you slowly come down. As if you are moving in slow motion. Bring your hands to your heart center and hold it there. Inhale. And then left hand, right knee twisting on the exhalation. Inhale slowly through the center. Pause at the top of the inhalation. Right hand, left knee as you exhale, wringing out everything you don't need. Inhale through the center. Drinking in your breath. Pausing at the top and then exhale completely and fully. Moving in your own time. Moving intuitively, linking the breath to the movement, 
to help you anchor into the present moment. to your heart center don't twist anymore inhale exhale take the arms up interlace the fingers press the palms of the hands up towards the ceiling side body long as you root down with your sitting bones inhale releasing the hands take your left arm over to the right side try and relax and melt your right shoulder equally weighting your sitting bones that beautiful stretch in the waist side of your body, inhale, and exhale, bring your hands forwards, and a little forward fold, stretching away with your fingertips, elbows and armpits lifted, so the heart is soft and melting down, surrender, surrender, surrender. coming up on an inhale, taking your legs apart, have your arms in front and do a little shake, flick your fingers, shake your feet, shake your chest, shake your shoulders, shake away anything you don't need. Exhale, place your right foot on your left knee. And if you can, move forwards. Press down with the palms of the hands to elevate and lift the spine. Flexing that right foot. Drawing the right knee away from the body. Connecting to your breath. Focusing on the asana. Inhale, taking your right leg over your left leg, tucking your foot underneath and then sitting with the sitting bones on the mat. If you can't do this, then just do a little variation. You could actually be having it like this or you can actually just sit cross legs. So find a comfortable position. It's not about perfection. It's finding what's right for you. So allow the shoulders to melt away from your ears. Right leg over, left leg under. Inhale, take the left arm up. And then twisting to the right side, place your left elbow against your right knee and twist around, relaxing that right shoulder. Allow the chest to open and expand. Spreading the fingertips of that left hand. The left hand's like a little sun shining out from your heart. Inhale, and then just 
just very softly release, extending your left leg, the leg that's be underneath. Take the sole of your right foot on the inner thigh of your left leg. Sitting up nice and tall, trying to line your chest with your leg. I'm going to do a little flow sequence with our arms, keeping the torso nice and straight, connecting to your bandas, so pulling up and pulling in, just very slightly. If you want to, you can place a cushion underneath your knee here, if that helps. If your knee's quite high, you might want to put a little bit of a cushion there. Let's inhale, take the arms up. Turning right, right arm goes back, left arm goes forwards. Inhale back to the front and a little forward bend, just a little one. Inhale, go up. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, spread the fingers, spreading the shoulder blades. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold. Every time you fold, go a little bit deeper into that hamstring stretch. Nice and slowly, try and link the breath to the movement and try and make the inhalation and the exhalation longer. So here we go in slower. wings out like the wings of an angel taking flight and then we're going to hold this posture single leg forward fold, Janushanasana, to settle in as we try and develop this stretch, allow the back of the leg, the muscles to lengthen and soften on every exhalation, breathing in and then let go, surrender and unravel, letting go of your mind as you let go of your body. Blowing away any restless thoughts through the exhalation. forwards as you press down with the palms of the hands you draw the shoulders away from the ears flexing that left foot and drawing that left knee away from your body to stretch the hip and the bottom focusing on the slow rhythm of your breathing to bring inner peace and stillness taking the left leg over, right leg under, finding your sitting bones and making any little adjustments so you feel as balanced as you can. Remember to vary the position of the legs if this is too challenging. Remember it's not about the perfection. Nothing is ever perfect. 
there is perfection in the imperfection. So inhale, take your right arm up, and then right elbow, left knee, spiral around, wringing out everything you don't need. The left hand can be flat on the floor. You can have a little tripod with your fingers as if your fingertips were like seeds plugging into the earth. Try not to force your neck or your head. Allow your head to turn softly, never forcing. Just allow everything to flow. Inhale. And then soften and release. Straighten out your bottom leg, your right leg. Place the sole of the left foot on the inner thigh. So you're trying to align your breastbone with your thigh. Hug the thigh muscle to the thigh bone so your right leg is still active. Connect to your bandas, so pulling up, pulling in, settling into that posture, rooting down with the sitting bones. Let's do our flow arm sequence. So we're going to inhale, take the arms up nice and slowly, linking the breath to the movement. Left arm back, right arm forward, spread the shoulder blades. Inhale. And just a very small forward bend. Flowing with your breath. Plug in every time you come up. Spread your wings as you rotate and look at that back hand. This one into our Janushanasana single leg fold. So try and relax and soften the muscles, never forcing. It's the perfect metaphor for life, flowing with the stream, not against it. Breathing in and let go. can do ujjayi breathing if you want to where you make a wave-like sound in the back of the throat helps to deepen the practice and the breath under shoulders, knees under hips, and just check that your head's facing the same way as me, so we don't get directionally challenged. You've got your wrists under your shoulders, and you've got your knees underneath your hips, and four-point kneeling. So we're going to do the cow into the extended child's posture. So we're going to inhale, chest melts down, head looks up a little bit, pull the shoulder blades back. 
and then rounding out your back into the cat and stretch backwards into Uttara Balanasana, extended child's posture. So linking those two movements together, inhale into the cow, breastbone shines forwards, draw the pubic bone forwards, you do the cat, and you stretch back at the same time. Flowing with your breath. The next time you're back in extended child's posture, you're going to hold it to allow the bottom to come down towards the heels, stretching away with your fingertips, elbows and armpits lifted, heart soft and melting down. Take your right hand to the right corner and take your left hand over the right hand. So right hand to the right corner, left over right. Make a little basket with your biceps and allow your head to rest between that space. Feel the stretch underneath your arm on the left side in your armpit. Take your left hand to the left corner. Take your right hand on top of your left. Make a little basket with your biceps. Rest your head in the middle and melt down with the weight of the body. Feel that stretch in your lats and in your armpit and along the waist on the right side. Coming up into the centre, four point kneeling, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Have the hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, just so you can spread the shoulder blades and release tension around your neck and your head. Tuck your toes in preparation for downward facing dog, Adha Mukha Shavasana. So we're going to inhale, and as you exhale, come up into downward facing dog. Allow the heels to melt down, tailbone high, holding it there. So think about lengthening your spine, guiding your armpits towards your thighs. The downward facing dog removes fatigue and rejuvenates our body. Okay, then start to walk your dog, so bending the right leg, straighten out the left leg and then change bending the left straighten the right walk in your dog Bending the right for the last time. Bend the left for the last time. Both heels down. Inhale. Look forwards a little bit and walk your feet forwards towards the front of your mat. And then hang in Uttanasana, deep forward fold. You can either hold on to your elbows. If you wanted to, you could bend your legs and rest your forearms on your thighs. You don't like being up down, upside down for so long. Your fingertips can be in line with your toes and just visualize the spine like a waterfall, gently cascading forwards over the rim of the pelvis. 
threading their sitting bones. Ground the outer edges of your feet and lift up your inner arches. Feel very grounded with the feet on the mat. And we're going to transition into a chair, Utkatasana. So you're actually going to sweep your arms up and sit in a chair at the same time. So inhale, sweep the arms. Sit back, so the weight's in your heels. Make sure your knees are tracking your toes. The weight's back. Well done. Spread the shoulder blades on your back. Inhale, come up, lower the arms. Well done. Stand up nice and tall. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Last time. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. We're going to be stepping back with our left foot into a high lunge. And as we do that, we're going to be lifting, lifting our arms up. When you step back, make sure your feet are hip width apart. So getting ready, we're going to inhale, take the arms up, left leg back, left leg back. That's the inhale. Make sure your knee, that front knee is directly over your ankle. Bend that back leg. Lift the up again and bring your arms down and your feet back to hip width apart. Other side, so right leg, right leg, inhale. Exhale, go down. Inhale, stand up. Feet together, arms down, exhale. Left leg, inhale. Exhale, go down. Just bend a little bit. Straighten up. And then bring your left leg forwards, arms down. Here's that sequence again. Right leg, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue in your own time. Think in the breath to the movement. That's a vinyasa flow sequence. to rush your race. One more left, one more right. Virabhadrasana one, stepping back with the left foot, Virabhadrasana one, your right foot's flat on the floor, your knee, right knee's tracking your baby toe, left foot comes out at a slight angle, you want your hips like headlights in a car to be shining forwards, try and make sure there's no pressure in your lower back by drawing your pubic bone forwards a little bit, lengthening your tailbone, looking up, if you can, or gazing ahead. Warrior one. Face the front, feet wide into second position. Take your arms out, legs straight. Round the outer edges of your feet, lift up the inner arches. 
Make sure your two hip bones are vertically above your pubic bone in neutral pelvis. Super strong legs. And then we're going to do three little pulses. So bend the legs. So it's one, two, three, and then open up. Inhale to open. Exhale to pulse. Inhale, open. Exhale, pulse. Feel yourself opening and expanding, unraveling like a ball of wool, letting go of everything you don't need on the exhalation. Inhale and open up. Keep pushing the knees out towards the baby toes. Exhale. Inhale, big wide expansive breaths. And then hold it here. Bend the legs. Inhale, come up, lower the arms, turn to the right side, bring your feet together, feet hip width apart. As we go into our chair, Utkatasana, so inhale, take the arms up, sit back into your chair, push the knees forwards, sit back, stay strong. do that lunge sequence this time starting off with the right leg arms go up on an inhale high lunge exhale go down inhale up foot forwards arms down left leg Last one left. Go back with the right and into Virabhadrasana one. So the sole of your right foot's flat on the mat, out at a slight angle. Make sure your hips are facing forwards like headlights in a car. Open and expand the chest. Well done. Keep breathing. Allow the breath to be natural, long, smooth, even inhalations, long, smooth, even exhalations. Inhale, 
turn to face the front, exhale. Well done, take your hands onto your waist. Take your heels out so your feet are facing forwards now. Ground the outer edges, lift up the inner arches. As uh, so we go into Prasarita Padottanasana, which is a deep forward, wide leg forward fold. So relax your shoulders, make sure you're in neutral pelvis, two hip bones above your poop bone. Connect to the bandas so you're strong in the core. Well done, settle in. Rounding the feet into the mat. Imagine roots coming out of the soles of your feet. All that earthy energy come into your legs. So your legs are super straight and super strong. Well done. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, folding forwards into a wide leg forward fold. Now, if you need to, you can bend your knees. You can touch the floor if you can. If you can't touch the floor, you could use a cushion. You could have your hands on something if you can't actually touch the floor. So either bend the knees or use a brick or a, or a cushion. Fingertips ideally in line with your toes. Spread the sitting bones. There's a nice straight line from your heel, back of your knee to your, to your bottom. Inhale and let go on the exhale. Have your right hand underneath your face, palm of the hand melting into the earth, and on the next inhalation, turning left, reaching up with your left arm, looking up, or keep your head gazing sideways, or even down. If you can't look up, if you've got any neck or head issues, then be careful. Inhale. Exhale, lower that left hand, place the left hand underneath your face. On the next inhalation, turning right, reaching up with your right arm. feet in, heels and toes until your hip width apart. So heels, toes come in until your feet are hip width apart. Bend your knees and into Katasana, the chair. Inhale, take the arms up. So a third chair. So make sure your knees are going forwards, weights back in your heels so your toes are free of weight. Inhale. Bring your hands to your heart center, exhale. Inhale, and then do a little twist, placing your left elbow against your right knee, or you can be higher if you can't do that. So modify and adapt it to suit you. Inhale through the center, right elbow, left knee, a twisting chair. Inhale through the center, come up, growing tall, inhale. Swaying palm trio to the right. Inhale. Swaying palm tree to the left. Inhale. Bring your hands to your heart center. I'm going to do a little balance. We're going to do a half lotus balance. We're going to be balancing on our sole of our left foot to begin with. And you can either just cross over like this and sink down. So level one would be up here. Level two, sink down. And level three, taking your right leg over your left leg. Flexing that right foot. Connect into your core, your bandas. Try and steady the mind as a steady mind helps with a steady body. Inhale, 
come up, arms down, and then we're going to swap sides, bring your hands to your heart center again, either level one here, level two you can bend, level three over. If you've got something close by you can hold on to, you could hold on to a, a chair if you needed to needed some extra assistance with your balance. Shake it loose, well done. A little shake. <sighs> Free yourself of any tension. And then turn to face the side. And then standing up nice and tall, we're gonna do a roll down to get down to the floor. So imagine you're standing against a wall. Attached to your back is Velcro giving you the imagery that we're peeling that spine vertebrae by vertebrae off that imaginary wall. So we're going to try and articulate and separate. Use this as an actual exercise to mobilize our spine, which gets very stuck together. So we're going to inhale, and then we're going to go down slowly, exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, like a rag doll. Well done, and when you get to the floor, you're gonna walk your hands out. You're gonna be on your knees, release the toes with your wrists under your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. So we're going to be in neutral pelvis. Here, well done. Okay, so you're gonna breathe in, and as you breathe out, extend your right leg and left arm, right leg, left arm. Stretching away from a strong center, back of the neck long and in line with the spine. Try and keep that right leg straight and super strong. Inhale, exhale, lower the right left hand, point the toes on your right foot. Inhale. And as you exhale, gracefully draw that right leg forwards. Make sure the ankle's directly underneath the knee. Allow the left knee to go backwards as we come into Angiasana, the crescent moon. Allow your hips to sink. down the arms, gracefully take your right leg back, back to four point kneeling, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, settling in, inhale, widen full, exhale, take out your left leg this time and your right arm, try and have your heel in line with your bottom so you're not lifting your leg too high, that left leg is super straight. Try not to sink or sag in your back. Inhale, exhale, take your right hand down, point the toes on your left foot, take an inhale. And exhale, gracefully draw that left leg forwards. Check your ankles directly underneath your knee. Right knee goes back, sink your hips, and then come up into Angiasana. Open 
open and expand your heart. your left leg gracefully back, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and just move your hips from side to side. Exhale as you sway the hips, inhale through the centre. Now as your hips go right, your head will go left. the centre, go back into Balasana, forehead on the mat, arms go back, palms facing up, back of the hands touching the mat. Allow the shoulder blades to melt apart. Keep softening and letting go. slowly coming up and then take your feet around to the front place your hands underneath your thigh sit up nice and tall inhale and then rolling down on the exhalation slowly going down Shoulders, neck, head last, and feel the weight of the head on the mat. Now done, just settle in, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Draw your right knee into your chest, interlace the fingers, inviting the right knee towards your right armpit. Extend your left leg along the floor and hovering off the floor, a whisper there. Flexing that left foot, pushing forwards with the inner heel of that left foot. place the sole of the left foot on the mat. Take your right leg on your left leg. Palms and the hands away from the body, the palms and the hands facing up. Soften around your shoulders. Take an inhale wide and full. And as you exhale completely, take your legs over to the right side. Make sure the shoulder blades on your back are equally weighted and then turn your head to the left. Inhale, take the head to the center, lift the legs, 
take the right foot down slowly. Draw your left leg in, interlace the fingers, extend the right leg along the mat, hovering off the floor, a wisp of air. Place the sole of the right foot flat on the mat. Take your left foot on your right knee. Arms away from the body. Arms up. Fingers curling. Take an inhale. Exhale. Take the legs over to the left. Rolling onto the inner thigh of the right leg. Take the weight onto your head. Lift the back. Adjust the shoulder blades. And turn your head to the right side. Close your eyes if you want to. Breathing out as you draw the knees in and inhale, release. Massaging your lower back into the floor. Breathing in and breathing out. fingertips going towards your shins and let's do draw some circles let's imagine two little suns and a canopy of blue sky above us reverse go back in the opposite direction and the last one gently lower the right leg gently lower the left leg and we're going to finish off with a nice nourishing shavasana and a relaxation so making sure that you're completely comfortable extending your legs if you have a lower back issue and you don't like it with your legs straight you could either prop something underneath your knees or you could lay in a semi-supine position with the knees and the inner thighs together and the feet as wide as your mat. And that just helps the lower back to sink. Otherwise, your legs can be straight. So settling in, I'll guide you through a relaxation. Closing your eyes. Just making sure that you feel balanced on the right side and the left side. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears and softening around your neck and shoulders and collarbone. Make sure the head's happy, feel the weight of the head on the ground beneath you. Have your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. And allow the feet, the knees, 
and the hips to open out. So you're having a real sense of unraveling, unwinding and letting go. Allow your breath to find its own depth and rhythm. Feel the gentle rise of the chest and the swell of your belly as you inhale. Pause at the top and then allow that breath to leave the body completely. Chest and belly lowering. Long, delicious breaths. On every exhalation, blowing away any thoughts in your mind. Finding gaps of nothingness. Spaces between the thoughts. Allow your thoughts to drift away like clouds in the sky of your mind. Feel the weight of the heels on the floor. Feel the weight of your hips sinking deep, deep deep into the floor. Feel the weight of the back of the hands on the floor. Allow your fingers to curl and allow the palms of both hands to soften. Feeling the weight of your back on the mat. Feeling the weight of the head on the mat. Feel your whole body sinking back as if you were being cradled and supported, suspended in time and space. Imagine you're very, very light, as light as a feather. Give yourself permission to let go and to be here right now in this precious moment in time. Feeling very, very peaceful and very, very calm. As calm as a still mountain lake. Very still. deeper and deeper and deeper into relaxation. Allow the resonance of this music to wash over you and through you like clear spring water.
to very slowly start to reawaken your body. You might want to bring the fingertips in and out towards the palms of the hands a few times. Rotate your wrists one way, back in the opposite direction. And then drawing your knees towards your chest just to harness all that peace and serenity and nourishment. And gently rock from side to side as you massage your back into the mat. And then over to the right side in a fetal position as you move away from your heart. And you can place a hand there if you need to, just to support your head. And then slowly coming up to a seated position where the spine can be long and elevated where all that energy that we've created can be encapsulated within your body and your ether. Feel yourself steady and strong. Calm and peaceful. Bring your hands to your heart center. We're going to breathe in, breathe out once, do one om, breathe in again, and send out three shanties, sound of peace. So breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, wide and full, Om. Stay, beautiful, blessed beings. Thank you so much. So enjoy the rest of your day. Stay in that peaceful state of serenity, feeling strong, 